I was a nurse for like four and a half years in Canada. Coming from a background in business management, from I've got a degree in it. I've been a full-time mum now for three and a half years, and I'm very happy to say that I'm done with it now, and I'm ready to move on to the next stage. I wanted to do something where I was still engaged and I was still really challenged. Like, I always thought dev was a career that was locked behind like a computer science degree. Like I didn't want to go back to school for like four years or something. So it opens a door into an actual job where I feel like I'm using my time well. A friend of mine told me about coding boot camps. I had never thought before that point that changing careers to be a software engineer was an option. I just assumed it was too late and that I hadn't done a degree in it. And so, you know, the moment had passed. And I just thought like, oh, you can't do technology. You're not good at it. So I never really thought about it. And this is like the first time where I was like, well, like, why don't you try? <laughs> like, why don't you just <laughs> go and see if you like it? inclusivity was very important at Manchester Codes. They've gotten to the effort to mention that. Certainly the part-time thing came across. One of the main things for me was that I absolutely couldn't afford to quit my job to study. The reason why I chose Manchester Codes was the part-time element because I was doing it and kind of paying for it myself so I could pay for it while I was working. And When I looked at Manchester Codes there was a lot of stuff on social, a lot of people willing to put the name to Manchester Codes which gave me a lot more confidence in Manchester Codes really. Yeah and it just looked good, it looked modern. It felt a bit like a family vibe and somewhere that takes care of you it's not just like yes give us your money it's very much like no we're here to support you we're here to provide you with a service kind of thing for me it's the support i was amazed at how quickly staff got back to you this is what you pay several grand for a boot camp for the tutors are really generous with their time especially considering obviously a lot of them have full-time jobs and having a massive support network from students current and past. I'm so thankful to Manchester Codes because the whole thing has been like such a positive experience. I like all the tutors we've interacted with have been like very kind and welcoming and warm. I felt like we were all kind of on a very similar wavelength. 100%. Yeah, I would absolutely recommend you to. Yeah, definitely recommend it to other people. Yeah, no, 100%. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. So glad I did it. I just think it's brilliant. It fits in around life. Really welcoming. The staff are great. The nice, I felt always supported. A huge focus on being a part of the coding community. Money spent on, on learning and education is never wasted. It was much better than I could have hoped for. Yeah. If you're wanting to learn to code, then just do it. The company are called Living Lens. It's an American company have just acquired a little company in Liverpool. This is a subset of BAE. Um, this is the Applied Intelligence subset. I think she saw my CV and I think she phoned me straight away and said, I think this looks really positive. Let's talk. I'm going to call Mission Labs, a company that has different products. So I think I'll be working with specifically one of the products, which is called Circle Loop. So it's a junior React position. It's right up my street. They chose a guy who had done a career change. They got him as my other interviewer so that I could ask him lots of questions about how it was, which I thought was a nice oh. touch. I wanted to become a front-end developer. It's a really way to work with React and particularly I really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. How many jobs do you think you applied for? <laughs> I didn't actually apply for any, except this one. David had seen that I've been doing the Manchester Codes course. Met him a couple of times in the past, got him on LinkedIn. As soon as he had a junior dev opportunity come up, he got in touch with me. And it was very much a sort of right place at the right time. 